Finally got the mill apart. I'm gonna do my ball screws. Um, also gonna notch this out so I get more Y travel. It's probably in the direction that I really didn't need the travel, but uh, I'm gonna do it anyway because it's part. Um, what I'm doing now is it sucks I have no mill, um, but. Uh, could make them but be able to make some of these parts these are my um, I got these for eight bucks a piece I mean the amount of time that I would sit and actually you know lay it out on CAD and machining time I'm just that just seemed to me kind of goofy to be you know that chunk of aluminum and uh, just didn't seem like it was and these were four bucks these are my uh, the screw the ball screw um, they go here they hold the bracket so I'm gonna do one here on that table it'll be under here but as you can see it's a little too wide um, I'm also gonna you know I, I probably won't need to now because what I'm doing on the other CNC, I'm doing a I'm surfacing that side of them, 100,000 side, so um, you know, that's an easy task that can be done to modify them, so I'm going to do that, get that done, so I have one machine that will run code, <laughs> so I want to get that done and then uh, I probably will go ahead and on my bearing blocks um, use some either half inch aluminum or what have you as far as material. Um, like I said, these are going to be I'm gonna go ahead and these will be like this on my bearing blocks and they'll be direct drive there and on the X that'll be nice just because the I'll be able to see the coupler and all that um, yeah I'm pretty excited to get this done but now that the mill is a little lighter I can feasibly um, probably gonna end up having to move that like I've mentioned a couple times in the past but and then I'll probably uh, I'm gonna make my my chip pan that way I can implement the coolant and then the drain back will be in the pan and then in the reservoirs down here so lots to come on it um, I feasibly got the, the spindle done uh, it come out really nice it seems to be holding up pretty well so, oops, a little bit cool it there. There. So yeah, doing that today, and hopefully, uh, then I've also got some manifolds for. I'm gonna do the coolant a little bit nicer. Um, as far as the setup, I didn't like the. I had the uh, the lock tube, you know, real long and whatnot. Also, I'm just going to make everything just really tidy. So, I think once I get all that done, I'll move this. I'm not sure where I'm going to do, where I'm going to put it yet, but um, I think it's probably more important that I have this thing kind of turnkey, and then I won't have to worry about it. I mean, it's just shy of putting a, a full surround in it, but uh, now that I look at it, that might be, that might happen. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, so yeah. That's about it. Thanks. Short video for once.